Okay. In the last lectures, uh, we have discussed about uh, CMOS inverter, CMOS NAND gate and CMOS NOR gate. Today, we will discuss how to implement any Boolean function using CMOS devices. So, we know the two input uh, NAND gate circuit and two input NOR gate circuit. By observing these uh, circuits, we can generalize the relation to any Boolean function. So, in case of two input uh, NAND gate, P mass transistors will be in parallel. N mass will be in series. Whereas in NOR, it is opposite. P mass will be in series, N mass will be in parallel. By observing uh, these two circuits, we can see that here if I neglect about this complement operation, let us assume that this is end operation only. So, for end operation, this N mass transistors are in series. Whereas P mass transistors are in parallel. Whereas here, if I forget about this complement operation. For our operation, these are two N mass transistors, these are two P mass transistors, N mass transistors are in parallel and P mass transistors are in series. Based on this observation, we can implement any Boolean function using CMOS devices. Let us take an example. f of a, b, c, d, e, there are 5 variables, is equal to a into b plus c 
plus d e. For the sake of simplicity let us take as whole bar. So, that we need to consider only the Boolean expression which is present in without bar. If you want to get this without bar you can come connect a inverter at the end of the circuit. So, here you can see that uh, there is one end operation here, there is another end operation, one R operation, another R operation. Okay. First you have to start with uh, B plus C. and you consider only first pull down network. So, in the pull down network B plus C for R operation N mass transistors will be in uh, parallel because in the pull down network we will be having only N mass transistors. So, this is B, this is C, these are N mass transistors, you have to connect in parallel to get the R operation. Then you implement A into B plus C. So, for this B plus C A is end operation, so you have to connect A in series with B plus C. Then implement A into B plus C plus D. Plus means R operation, this D will be again in series because D and E here the operation is end operation here the operation is R operation. So, end operation means these two will be in series, R operation means this D will be in parallel with A into B plus C. Means here there will be a parallel path in which again D and E are end operation, they will be in series. this part will be grounded, this is the complete pull down network which consists of only N mass transistors. Now, coming for the P mass, in order to get the P mass, we can re reverse these operations or we can take the complement of this A into B plus C plus D E. A into B plus C plus D. This is the one which we have implemented using N mass transistors. In order to obtain using P mass, this expression using P mass, take complement. So, you might have studied in your uh, digital circuits to get the complement of uh, any Boolean function, you have to do two operations. One is you have to change the end operation to R operation, R operation to end operation. So, the first one is change end to R and R to end. So, here this R becomes end, this end becomes R. So, this A into B plus C plus D E will become A plus B C, 
this r becomes end into d plus e. So, this end operation you have changed to r, this r operation you have changed to end. this r operation we have changed to end this end operation we have changed to r the first step to get the complement of any boolean function is you have to exchange end and or operations then the second step is take the complement of each boolean variable So, that the complement of this a into b plus c plus d will become a bar this you have to take the complements of each and every element plus b bar c bar into d bar plus e bar this is the complement of a into b plus c is d this is how you can obtain the complement now the pull up network relation consists of the relation of the complement of the given boolean function so this complement you have to implement by using pmas So again this R operation means parallel, end operation means in series. So to implement this A plus B bar into C bar. Of course here we are going to use N mass transistors, B C will be in series. This is this B bar C bar, then A bar in parallel because you are taking the complement, you can follow the same end logic. For this again, D plus E bar in series. This two will be connected. This is D, this is E. Because of these bubbles, they are bars. And here we are going to connect to VDD. And here at this junction, we will get the output F of AB. C D E. If I do not want this complement, then you can connect this to inverter circuit which we know. The output of the inverter will be now simply A into B plus C plus D. If want with complement, you can take the output here. If I want without complement, you can uh, pass this output through the inverter then you can take the output of the inverter that will be without complement because complement of complement is same value only suppose you have p double complement is p itself and this inverter will uh, complement the given input so this is the relation of the given uh, boolean function a into b plus c plus d now let us take another example
f of a b c d four variables only is equal to a into b c plus d here i i don't have the complement so let us first uh, implement the f of a b c d bar which is with complement then you pass through the not gate then what is the implementation of a into b c plus d whole bar and you have to consider this part only so in the pull down network b c end operation means series d is our operation so in parallel with this there will be d then whole thing with a end operation so this is in series this is pull down network here all the transistors are n mas then the pull up network will be we have take the complement of a into b plus c a into b c plus d change the end to r r to end then take the complement of individual elements you see the complement of this then how to implement this b bar c bar in series means uh, our operation means in parallel in series with d This is B C, so B bar plus C bar. This is D, so B bar plus C bar into D. This A bar plus R operation is there. You have to connect in parallel. And this will be connected to V D D. it will be connected to ground here this will generate a into bc plus d whole bar to get a into bc plus d itself you connect this to not gate So this will be a into b c plus d. This is not get our inverter. This is the complete relation of the Boolean function f of a b c d is equal to a into b c plus d. now the last topic is how to size the transistors uh, so that they can have the delays which is equivalent to that of the inverter delays transistor sizing for example if we take this the first example this function so 
the circuit diagram of this one we have already derived. So, for better explanation I am drawing this circuit again. is pull down network and pull up network is just opposite to this This is D E, this is B C, and this is G. Now I want to make the delay of this one same as that of the inverter. So, we have derived uh, the propagation delays of T P H L and T P L H in the previous lectures and we have also shown that T P L H is greater than T P H L. So, the reason is so, in case of uh, low to high transition, this P type uh, transistor will be involved and the mobility of holes is less than that of the electrons as a result of that this will take more time to change from low to high. Okay. Assuming that if I take the same W by L ratios. Now, in order to make this T P H L is equal to T P L H we can uh, size the transistors accordingly. Okay. L anyhow we are going to keep uh, fixed because if I reduce the L below a value then there will be some short channel effects. Okay. So, forget about this L then W if I choose this twice the W as the width of uh, N mass transistor then these two will be equal because the mobility of holes is approximately twice that of the electrons. Okay. So, this is the normal practice we will take this twice w this is w. So, that T p h l and T p l h will be equal and this value depends upon the w and the c ox lot of parameters okay. because this is given by 2.2 times 0.693 times. R p into C out or R n into C out 
Now here we are choosing this RP as a twice Rn, so we will get the same value. Now this delay will be more than that of the delay of the inverter because here many gates are involved because of that the delay of this one is directly greater than delay, delay of uh, the inverter. Now the problem here is you have to size the transistors of this Boolean function such that so these two will have same delay. For that if I consider the pull up network only one P mass transistor is here with the 2W width whereas here there are 5 P mass transistors then what should be the size of this 5 P mass transistors so that the equivalent uh, width will be equal to 2W. Similarly if I take the N mass transistor the width is W here we have 5 N mass transistors how to size this uh, phi n mass transistors such that the width of uh, these two will be equal. We know that this resistance is inversely proportional to the width. We have discussed this in the earlier lectures. The relation for the R will be in the form of R n is nothing but 1 over mu n C ox W by L into V D D minus V T N, the threshold voltage of N mass transistor. So, we can see that here R in is inversely proportional to W. Similarly, R P is also inversely proportional. So, in general, R is inversely proportional to W. So, if I have this uh, width of any transistor. is k times w implies the resistance will be r by k. This is clear if I multiply the width by k then the resistance because inverse proportional will be divided by k. This is one of the important result we are going to use to size the transistors. Now coming for this P mass sizing, so what are the worst uh, case propagation delays as you have discussed in the previous lectures that you have to consider the worst case propagation delays okay, for a better design because once if you design a circuit for worst case conditions then it will work for the best case conditions also. So, what is the worst case uh, delay in this case? B, C, E if these three are in series then it is worst case delay okay. or B, C, D. This is B, C, E, this is the series, this one R, B, C, D. Now, because this is the twice the width, so here the resistances will be R by K in general, you have to find out the value of the K okay. so that the equivalent resistance will be R. So, basically here if this resistance is equivalent to R, this 2W also will be equivalent to R resistance only, then only you will get a TPHL is equal to TPLH. Okay. So, if I increase the width of this P mass transistor twice that of the width of the N mass transistor then both will give the same resistance as a result of that in this 
this RP will be no more RP or RN, it is simply R into C out so that the propagation delay of low to high or high to low will be same. Okay. The effective resistance should be R. So, this entire network should have effective resistance of R, this entire network should have effective resistance of R. So, if I assume that the resistance of B and C E, this is equal to here because this is multiplied with uh, 2, here this will be divided by K, this is 2 R by K. If I consider either this path or this path, 2 R by K plus 2 R by K plus 2 R by K. This 2 R by K is correspond to B, this 2 R by K is correspond to C, this 2 R by K is correspond to E. This should be equal to the equivalent resistance of R. The effective resistance should be R for both pull down network as well as pull up network. So, what will be this RR get cancelled, K is LCM, from this we will get K is equal to 6. That means, the widths of this B, C and E should be 6 W, 6 W, 6 W, this is 2 W. So, if this is 6 W, 6 W, 6 W, then the resultant resistance becomes R. Here, this 2 W resistance is R. So, you see the size of B, C and E. Now, what about D? B, C, E, R, B, C, D is two uh, worst case paths. So, in B, C, E, if you have 6, 6, 6 means this also should be 6 W, then only both will give the same equal resistance. Now, if I consider B C E, it is giving resistance of R, means if I consider D size as 6 W, then only B C and D also will give the equivalent resistance of R. That is why the size of D also should be 6 W. Now, what about the size of A? We can see that these two paths are in parallel, means this A is equivalent to B and C. two resistors if you connect in series, the resultant resistance is 2 R. So, this should be equivalent to 3 W, because the resultant of this 6 W, 6 W in series, resistance are in series means we have to add, widths are in series means we have to take the parallel combination 6 W into 6 W by 6 W plus 6 W which is 3W. So, the size of this one is 3W. This is about the uh, pull up network. Now, coming for the pull down network or n mass sizing. Here, what is the worst path? We have three paths either D or a, B, R, A, C, C, A, C. In any case, two transistors will be in series, either D, R, A, B, R, A, C, D, A, B, A, C. So, what is the resistance here? This will be R by K because this resistance is directly R. This is already having the, the uh, equivalent resistance of R only, whereas this will be having twice W, that is why you are taking here 2 R. But in the computation of uh, this n mass uh, sizes, you have to take R. So, R plus K plus R plus K should be equal to R because the equivalent resistance should be R. 
implies k is equal to 2. That means, whether this path or this path or this path all are having only 2 transistors in series. So, all the transistors should have a width of twice the w. So, this should have 2 w, 2 w, 2 w. This is how we can size the transistors to have the equal delay when compared with the, the inverter which is having both the TPHL and TPLH are equal. Okay. In a similar way you can size the second problem also. Let us consider here also the, if the implementation is up to A plus B C plus D whole bar. Let us forget about this. Now, you size this which is equivalent to the size of the CMOS inverter. Let us forget about this now. So, this output is now this is bar, now this is CMOS inverter. So, let us assume that this is 6W, 2W. So, I want the size of this one as 6W. I want the size of this one as 2w. So, to meet this requirement, so what are the sizes of this? This I think I have given as a one of the exercise problems in the assignment. Okay. So, you can do in a similar manner. Okay. So, this is all about this uh, course integrated circuits and applications. So, if you have any doubts you can ask in the faculty forum and the final examination will be uh, similar to that of the assignment uh, pattern. So, we will be having similar type of the questions which uh, I have given in the assignment and uh, thank you for your cooperation and all the best for your final examinations. Mm -hmm.